Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are we doing? Big P here. And still, yeah you know don't you, you know. Right. Is UFC becoming bigger than boxing? I think it's more popular. Uh, I think that Dana White makes them all fight each other, doesn't it? They don't dictate to him, do they? If they don't want to fight, get gone. That's it, that's how he works it. One of my friends has just said that he runs it a bit like Stalin, but people are... I can explain it. People are getting a bit fed up with all these issues we've got in boxing. I mean, drug testing's become a bit of a joke now, hasn't it? You know, it, We've got promoters that are calling for life bans. Eddie Hearn's calling for a life a life ban on on Jarrell Miller, Bell you and people like that. But yet, there's fighters at Matchroom who failed drug tests and they don't say a word about them. I'm not going to mention any names. Eddie Hearn calling for massive bans and this and that, and it's bad for the sport. He says, well, he tried to sign Tyson Fury, didn't he? He had three separate drug issues over a period of over a year. So, what a, over 18 months, 2015 at the beginning, wasn't it, before Aimer fight, Christian Aimer fight, and he had two issues after winning the world title. He had a Nandrolone fight before the Christian Aimer fight. He had a Nandrolone, sorry, issue. And after the Vladimir fight, Tyson Fury had a cocaine test and then a bit further later on in the year he refused the test they're facts Eddie Hearn tried to sign Tyson Fury tried to sign him, offering him uh, multi-fight deals and that but yeah calling for Jarrell Miller to, for him to throw a bucket Jarrell Miller so Dillian White's done a two year ban for drugs nobody mentions that, then he had the Oscar Rivers issue he peed in a cup, he had an A sample, he peed in a cup, and he had an A sample and a B sample out of the same cup. The A sample failed, months later the B sample came back, negative. But it's the same piss! Sorry about that, a little outburst, that'll get me in trouble, but... So you tell me, we've got is issues like that, um, couple of things that my good pal Scott pointed out to this morning uh, do you think UFC is bigger than boxing now Porky and why is it their top stars are still fighting while boxing's big names aren't doing shit has he got a good point there yeah I think he's got a good point there the problem you've got now is the promoters are not working with each other, are they, in this country? That might be why Frank Warren's slink, slinked off and had a meeting with Bean! Do you know what I mean? But, uh The point I want to make is... Fights are not happening, are they? Fights are not happening, I mean... He's, he's named a few here, but I've mentioned this in other videos, but... I agree, Porky, but when you look at the product, it's way better than boxing. UFC product is better than boxing, yeah. The best fight each other, I just said that. One belt, one champion. Great, that, isn't it? That's good. They're not massively overpaid, so the big fights happen. Just seems overall better. Yep, yeah, I'll never get into UFC myself, but I respect it. I'm losing patience, Porky, with boxing at the moment. It's a mess. Drug cheats, shitloads of belts, rival TV networks won't work with each other, rarely see the best fight each other, inactive fighters, Callum Smith, Billy Joe Saunders, John Ryder, they're all in that mix, they're not fighting, are they? All we see is Eddie Hearn 24-7 on interviews. I'm getting effed off with the sport at times. Sorry for the rant, Porky. I agree with you Scott wholeheartedly and I've been banging the drum I've been banging the drum for a long time about this these people are doing what they want but what I want to know and I don't want to 
I don't want to make this about been. I don't want to make it about him being, run a bean, could have been, should have been, never been, baked bean, creepy bean. We're on to your bean. Just tell us where them bodies are. Just tell them where you put them. No, I don't want to make this about bean, but this is how I look at it. Right. Everybody knows I work with Dennis, don't we? When we're not falling out, but bottom line is this. Dennis has always had TV ever since I met him. He had Spike TV when I first met him in April 2015. He's had... I one after Spike. Free Sports TV. He's been on another channel as well. Oh, he does Eurosports as well, isn't there, to come. So, and BBC iPlayer. So, he's always been over and around TV deals, but he's never had an exclusive deal, even when he had Clinton Woods, Ricky Atten, you know, other fighters like that, Carl Thompson, they were always piggybacked onto a deal, or they were thrown a couple of dates, he never had an exclusive deal where they said, right, you've got so many dates now, Dennis, and I, and I think that's a shame, because look what Dennis has managed to achieve with without having a concrete TV deal. But he always seems to come up chumps and, and he goes again, no matter what the criticism, he's an ice man. He don't, even when I'm even like that, throwing me tantrums and, and ranting off, screaming like a nutcase. Ask anybody, ask Michelle, anybody up there. People say, oh, Porky, you really Dennis, you only use car valet, huh? Yeah. Look, People say, oh, you're hanging out at the back of Dennis, you're always bigging him up. Look, he's stable at the moment. Shit. It's shit. That's the bottom line. It's Baba. And he knows that. He knows that. And I tell him straight, he needs no signings. Look, point I'm trying to make is this. If Dennis had proper TV, what could he achieve? He's always managed to... He's always managed to, to, to keep, to hang in there, hasn't he? But these people who've got TV, they're abusing it now. The point I'm trying to make is, every show that I've been involved in with Dennis, with TV, they have a quality control. They have a quality control that'll say, that's okay, that's passable, or no, that's not a good fight, Dennis. And th this is where the TV companies, they retain the bit of power because they're only going to give you an odd date. You've got to please them. But when you've got somebody like Adam Smith, Mr. Bean, giving somebody an exclusive five-year deal, 100 dates, you're giving them carte blanche. It's like when the BBC, Dennis had a deal with BBC, but other promoters were working with BBC or Maloney, McKennessy. Audley Harrison had 10 dates with the BBC. So Audley Harrison's, he's a boxer, an Olympic gold medal, super heavyweight. He's his manager, he's his own manager. He would dictate into his training team and he's a promoter. So Audley Harrison, A-Force Promotions, were promoting it all himself. And so, so where's the quality control? The one arm mother. So Audley Harrison, he's just gonna do what anybody's gonna do. And if there's nobody there to oversee it, the lunatics are running the asylum. He's just gonna wanna fight who he wants. People like Dominic Negus and people like that and whoever, all them other guys that shouldn't have been in with him at that time. I'm not saying Dominic Negus can't fight because he can and he's a nice kid. And Dominic tried to stick nuts on him, didn't he, and have a tear up, but a super heavyweight gold medalist from the Olympics and he were fighting substandard guys because he were getting knockout and he were winning one he would he wanted an easy night's work and they paid him the fortune they give him a million quid signing on fee and then he got all gate and everything so he had a good do out of it Audley Harrison there were no quality control then and the BBC the last show that the BBC ever put on was Clinton Woods against somebody, I forgot who it was, but it was 2004, Clinton Woods. Dennis, Dennis was the last person to put a show on with BBC. And that was 16 years ago. And do you know the BBC? 
they're still sore over Audley Harrison and what were going on at that time. They're still sore over that. So it's going to take some rebuilding, isn't it? It's going to take some rebuilding, but there's no quality control at Sky, is there? Is Ed Robinson supposed to be at quality control at Sky? If not, why aren't IFL saying to Eddie Hearn, Eddie, is there any quality control over the product that you're putting out on Sky? Because Dillian White, a drug cheat, against Povetkin, a drug cheat, for no world title, how is that pay-per-view? What is the criteria? What? What's the criteria? That's just a normal Saturday night fight. A 41-year-old drug cheat, convicted drug cheat, is he, is he two or three time cheat preventing against Dillian White, two time drug cheat, question mark over the second one. Is that, they both had bands, there's no belt online, but it's pay-per-view. So what's the criteria? What? With UFC, if they're going to put, Crawford Ashley made a good point the other day, if they're going to put a kid that's substandard on, why don't they put that person in with a substandard opponent? Instead of the ones that we know was going to win all the time. I mean, I can go on to box right now and I can show you quite easily. Shows on the left, you've got all green, and on the right, all red. Kids were losing records who were, who were on the slide against kids on the up. Boxing don't need to be going down that route anymore. We don't want to. We don't want to see that. I don't want to see that no more. I want to see evenly matched fights. If it's a kid that's English level, put him in with a kid that's English level. For example, off top of my head, why would David Allen be in with Ortiz? Why? Why would Dave Allen take a fight for nine and a half grand against Luis Ortiz, the WBA interim champion and num number one ranked guy. The, t the top guy at the WBA at the time, under whoever had the belts. A top, top guy, WBA interim champion. That's like Dillian White's the WBC interim champion. That's so imagine putting Dillian White now in with, I don't know, Nick Webb. Dillian White going in with Nick Webb now, and Nick Webb's like 9-0. Well, or, or Tom Little or somebody like that. If you're fighting guys on your level, it's going to be a good fight. Tom Little against Dave Allen's a great fight. Do you know why? Because they're of similar ability, aren't they? Tom Little's obviously not as funny as David, because David's really funny. But they're of the similar level, right? But David's created a monster for his, a, back, a rod for his back, hasn't he, basically? Because he's become popular, but the ability is not matching the popularity, is it? So David, against David Price, you saw what happened, wouldn't you? He's a disaster waiting to happen, chasing money. His level is the Tom Little Cash Alley level, but they're putting him in with killers, aren't they? And, you know, and he meets everything with his face on, doesn't he? But that's another story. If you're going to put Joshua in, you've got to put him in with Tyson Fury, haven't you? Or Dillian White, Wilder. He's got to, Joshua's got to be fighting them guys. He can't be fighting Pulev. Pulev's next birthday, he is 40. Will Dillian White fight him next? Because he likes them out at 40. Could have done him Malcolm Tan, Wack, uh, Povetkin, Lucas Brown. Could be Pulev. After Joshua beats Pulev, it could be pool left for Dillian White you know I think we've had this before haven't we with Parker and you know they, they might even dig Del Boy up after Usyk beats him put him in with Dillian for a rubber match for a third rubber match the point I'm trying to make is the product's been watered down on it by some TV company Sky is watered down and I think BT I don't think it's as watered down but I don't think they've come on they made they made some good ground up but now they've got to They've got to put good shows on. These shows he's putting on recently are all right, aren't they? I like the uh, Lerone Richards fight against Sadiq, Omar Sadiq. But the point I'm trying to make is, is there a quality control at Sky? If there is a quality control at Sky, who is it? Why don't we all ask Barry Hearn? Barry.hearn at matchroom.com Eddie.hearn at matchroom.com no capitals ask them 
ask them ask them who's the quality control at sky who is the person who oversees everything is it adam smith is it ed robinson is it barney francis who is in charge now i know ed robinson's behind the scenes doing production and sorting out who's doing pundit work and things like that so i don't think it's him it's got to be somebody higher than adam smith if not and it's adam smith adam smith he could be out in a job soon adam smith because have sky delivered no as adam smith delivered forget the fact that i think he's a creepy looking weirdo right no it is what it is isn't it right but as adam smith done his job at sky as he delivered since joshua fought for klitschko what have what have sky delivered for us what what have Sky delivered for us? How many of these? Is there 36, 37 pay-per-views in the Eddie Earn era on Sky? How many of them 30-odd pay-per-views can you sit back at home and say, do you know that were good value? How many? How many? Klitschko against Joshua. Frotch grows one and two. Frotch Kessler, that's four. How many more pay-per-views can you say that have been good value? How many? Are they delivering and is there a quality control? The drug issue, I've just pointed out to you there. They're trying to sign drug cheats and they've got drug cheats on the book, but anybody else fails a test and they get slaughtered. But if any of theirs fail a test, let's try to cover it up. In 34 years, they've only had Dillian White and they fail a test. And he got off with it. Well, they're saying he did. Who's the other one? Kenny Anderson. He wasn't he want tied to him, was he? That was just the fight they were putting on. And, and look what happened with Kenny Anderson tested against Robin Reed. Robin didn't get to find out for 11 months. That should have been a no contest, shouldn't it? Kenny Anderson failed for amphetamine because he was struggling with weight in the week of the fight. So, Robin Reed got to find out 11 months later. But match room and the board of control knew, didn't they? Robin Reed got to find out after 11 months. Uh, you were retiring anyway, Robin. Don't matter. Robin Reed would have fought Paul Smith for that belt. Or Paul, or Tony Dodson and, and Robin Reed. One, one, Robin should have been next in line to fight for that vacant belt after Kenny Anderson won that fight and never fought again. But So the sport, it, it, it's, it's, it, the, the more you look into it, the more these people contradict themselves on a daily basis I mean we've got fighters putting themselves out in the mix constantly on social media we've got Coogan running about bigging up everybody who, who he's told to big up why can't they even it out why can't Coogan Cassius even it out if it's not Billy Joe it's Tyson or, or Eddie Hearn what, what, what? Can, isn't there any other people that need interviewing that we want to know about? What about past boxers? What about amateur kids coming through? What, what's happening with that? Why aren't they all over EIS? Because Olympics have been cancelled but they're still training. The sport to move forward, in my opinion, has got to take a leaf out of Dana White's book. They've all got to fight each other. They've got to be evenly matched fights. Eggington against Cheeseman, that's a good fight, isn't it? That's a good fight. I tip my hat off. But what other ones are on there? Terry Harper's fighting Natasha Jonas. Natasha Jonas is she's gone at game, isn't she now? And she's mid, mid to late thirties against a 20, 22 year old. Is it twenty three year old? Terry Harper. Terry Harper will beat her up over twelve rounds. Well, not so much beat her up. She'll pick her off and get on a bike for sorry ten rounds. That's what'll happen. That'll be a ten round points win for Terry Harper. Comfortable. But it's just a case of Joe Gallagher wringing a little bit more money out of uh, that girl, Jonas, and then sending her on away. That's what will happen. There's too much of that going on. There's too many managers who are trainers and they haven't got the fighters' best interests at heart. Not everybody has got the best interests of the fighters at heart. And I want to see kids getting paid, to be fair. The earn pays them on time, that's good. But I want to see people getting paid properly. I don't want to see ticket deals. And I want to see them take a leaf out of the UFC book. If world champions are going to fight world champions, great. If kids that are 
English level or area level are going to fight English area level, that's great. If British level against British level fight, that's great. I don't want to see these fights where they're just just, just fight beating somebody up for the sake of it. I don't want to see that. Did we not learn anything from the Audley Harrison era? No, so boxing hasn't moved on, has it? What, has, what have we moved on with? We've still got the same rules as 50 years ago. So, so, and I love boxing with all my heart, but I just think that UFC is more popular at the moment and we need to take a leaf out there. But So what do you think? What do you think, the fans? Eh? Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment and press your notification button and then you get your porky fix straight away. <laughs> so peace out keep on trucking keep supporting boxing uh, I think I'm going to go get a smoothie so peace out